Hello and welcome back to another video and this one's a little bit different because I just took it upon myself to go you know what let's see if we can recreate more characters we did this with some NPCs in the past but not really many main characters because usually main characters have quite elaborate outfits and are quite hard to recreate in the character creator but thankfully Shadowbringers was full to the brim with quite normal characters even though they are sort of like side characters if you will they take up quite a large portion of the main storyline and have a rich backstory which Square Enix themselves want to address. Specifically I am talking today about Chai Nuz and his lovely wife. You might remember this pair, they're fantastic. So Chai Nuz is quite special because he works for the Stoneworks which is essentially the first sort of version of the Ironworks which basically kind of makes him sort of like Sid if you think about it in some weird kind of way. So what exactly does Chai Nuz look like? So he's a keeper of the Sun Makote male that sort of you know progressed in his age a little bit he's probably not as vibrant colored hair as he used to be he's showing a bit of gray here so can we recreate him in the character creator. I know unfortunately we can't create his lovely wife or at least not in her current proportions. I hopefully Square Enix address that in the future so we can but let's see this will be a challenge. So here we go so obviously Chai News is a Makote male. Wow that already looks a little bit like a young version of him. It's quite a stock character with just minor adjustments. So we're obviously after a Seekers of the Sun character because uh, he's quite pale in nature. So what kind of height are we looking at here? Let's see. So is he really quite a tall character? I mean he's not short by any means but he's not exactly the tallest person either. So maybe, maybe about 75 something like that. That looks about right. Got a right sort of proportion, so we'll go with that for now. Then we've got Skin Tone. As I said before, he's quite a pale character, but I'm not sure he's quite as pale as the, the palest options up here in the top left. But um, I don't know. Let's see. What does it look like with light? Actually, that's a bit closer. I think, obviously, he's been a little bit um, sort of bathed in sunlight from the the first but um, I'm not quite sure that sort of has the same effect as it would in real life. We'll go with a short tail for now because I need to look at the reference picture to actually see if he actually has a fluffy tail or not. I think he does have a fluffy tail but let's not bother at the moment. So the hairstyle is going to be quite difficult because I don't believe we have access to the same hairstyle we have stuff that looks similar or like slightly weird like this one. Um, we have longer hairstyles, quite a lot of short ones, but we're looking for something with a fringe. Um, this is somewhat okay, but it's not really long enough. That's okay, but again the fringe is wrong, so it kind of looks like Otacon from Metal Gear Solid. That's not too bad. That's sort of like a youthful sort of look, but really we want that sort of swept hair across um, sort of fringe look which I don't know if we're going to be able to do. That's not bad, actually. I think that's probably the closest we're going to get. Um, yeah, I think the others are just long hairstyles, aren't they? Yeah, okay, so we're going to go with this one, I think. And obviously this needs to be changed to colour. So in the source footage, we actually show um, him with quite pale sort of purple hair. But... Do we really want to go for that sort of old timer look as he currently is in the game? Or do we want to sort of recreate what he might look like in the, you know, in the past sort of thing? Are we going to go for a Source World version of him since we haven't got the exact hairstyle? I mean, this is obviously a lot younger looking than perhaps the main character actually is. That's not too bad, this coloration here. I mean, it's not too bright. But it's not too dark either, and I think, honestly, that might work for the best. So when it comes to face options, I think it has to be number two. It's the one that's the most grizzled. We want a bit of age, uh, just enough, but also if you don't click on that one, he won't have the same facial sort of layout, so it won't look right. And I think for the most part, most of the other options are stock, so his jaw is definitely a one, I think. His eye type, I mean, one's pretty good. Yeah, the others are too gentle. I think one has more of a sort of 
basic but sort of stern look to it so we'll go with that his iris size is definitely large because you know i think small would look a bit unusual his eye color i think his eyes were let's have a look yeah his eyes were sort of like a purple color um they weren't well, sort of purpley blue so everything sort of has a bit of purple in it or a bit of violet at least so let's just go with something yeah that could work that looks about right it's not probably bright enough but um you know it'll do in terms of eyebrows again we don't want anything like number three one is probably for the best it does have the most sort of i don't know it adds a bit of age to the character as for nose i think we're gonna have to go stock as well because the more i you know look at noses the less it's going to look like him in the end so let's quickly go back and change this to be a nice long fluffy tail because actually looking at the character in the game i've noticed that he does have a fluffy tail which is very important to character design if you don't have a fluffy tail if you have the option to have one then you're doing it wrong so in terms of facial features he definitely has the sort of mutton chops on the side there um I don't know what this nose thing is actually. There's the beard. We need that. Is this nose part of the actual facial features? Or is that like a tattoo or something? Yeah, so it had a tattoo on it. There we go. That's infinitely better. You don't look like you have a weird spot on your nose anymore. So we don't need any face paint or anything like that. As for a voice of the character, I guess we need something gruff but gentle at the same time. These aren't too bad. Let's try them with laughter instead. That's eh, not too bad. Maybe... Uh, let's try number nine. Ooh. Okay, I think number nine's quite nice. Let's hear that with a nod. Yeah, we'll go with number nine. And pretty much that's my character created for Chinese. So let's see what he looks like in the game dressed up. So here we go, this is the hard labour. As a result, I have something that looks as close as we're going to probably get to actually what he looks like, and indeed what he wears. So this should be pretty good for an RP setup if you want to play as a slightly younger, slightly less gruff, maybe less gentle Chinese. And basically to create this, the main parts of this, as you might notice on the head there, I'm using the weathered spectacles. This is something that uh, I believe matches the model originally quite well. We also have the high house justicor as the main chest here dyed regal purple. This is pretty much exactly what he wears. And I believe I've got legs right as well, which are the royal seneschal's breeches. And to finish it off, we have the songbird boot. So really the only thing that's dyed here is that high house just a core this wasn't particularly too difficult to put together and i think it looks actually quite close to the character it might not be perfect his hair might be slightly brighter and the hairstyle isn't exactly accurate but it does look like him in many ways i think we've succeeded here there's not really much else we could have done we probably could have sourced a different hair from somewhere else is probably a different option it looks better we've probably missed something here and there maybe but as a whole i think this looks pretty good so yeah that's pretty much my recreation of China's, one of my favourite side characters from Shadowbringers. Hopefully you've enjoyed this sort of video, it's something different, I might continue this because honestly, it's quite fun. So join me in the future as we continue to recreate NPCs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.